Hey, CrossFitters, welcome back. It's Coach Bob here at CrossFit Glen Burnie. And today, this video is providing a little more information. So we're talking about our Barbell Club classes. And I want to give you some information about what they are and give you some insight into the workouts that we do or the programming and what you might expect. Now, if you've been coming to the Barbell Club, this is a great video for you to watch as well because we're going to be giving you some insights into some changes that we're making that you're going to start seeing this Saturday. So what I want to do is I want to jump into a little bit about why we have a barbell club class on our schedule a little talk a little bit about the intent behind this and then go into a little more detail on the workouts that you're going to be seeing in the barbell club class so let's start there so guys the barbell club class we've had on the schedule probably from the very early days of CFGB. This was something that, you know, working with a barbell has always been a part of who we are. And uh, there's a number of us that just like to add that little extra into our CrossFit workouts and be able to also uh, work with a barbell and to improve our overall barbell skills, get stronger, and we um, or we're working on just maybe that's something we're not so good at and we're looking at improving that as well. So the barbell club class primarily provides additional uh, opportunities for folks in CFGB community to be able to work with the barbell and primarily the movements that we, we do when we work with uh, the barbell are weightlifting movements. So that means that we're working on the snatch and the clean and jerk. Um, now, the, you'll also see accessory kinds of movements and things that will build strength like front squats, back squats, and overhead squats. So all of those things together, <laughs> together excuse me, are going to help us to pursue our goals, right? So, um, first of all, you know, is the barbell club class set up for beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Well, like all of our classes, all skill levels are welcome and all skill levels benefit from the way that we have the classes structured. So let me talk a little bit about the class structure. If you haven't been there, so you have a good idea of what to expect, or if you have been coming, just to re uh, reemphasize some of the different parts of the class. Now, our barbell class has evolved over time, and currently we now have a 90-minute class. We've been doing that, uh, I would say, probably for the past year it might be six months or eight months or something like that, where we expanded the time. And there are two opportunities on our schedule currently to take the Barbell Club class. So if you have that opportunity, this is going to fit in really nice for you. On Saturdays, we have two classes. Each one's 90 minutes long. So in that class, what you can expect uh, to see and to do is just like every other class that we teach, it's going to start with a briefing where the coach is going to go over the overall workouts, the intent of the workouts, and some modifications, and basically help us to understand the why behind what we're going to be doing, and uh, be able to create some understanding about what it is. Now, when we talk about weightlifting, it's typically done in sets and repetitions, like three sets of five back squats, for example. That would mean that you know the working sets that we're going to do will be three three total sets and five repetitions for each set. Um, and we usually in the class uh, after the, well, <laughs> let me take a step back for a second. So we go over the briefing and then we're going to have a general warm up for everyone with weightlifting. We like to focus on mobility, being able to move, uh, move well. So you can see some simple stretches, some joint rotations and warming up of our core. And then we're going to get onto a barbell and we're going to be moving with uh, an empty barbell just to get a little load and to start warming up some of the movements that we're going to be doing in the class. And then finally, the coach is going to guide us through the each of the different sections of the workout in the Barbell Club class. So that might start with a lift 
and let's say it's uh, three sets of five of a snatch, for example, then the coach is going to uh, introduce us to that, those movements. We'll get to practice them a little bit. And now you'll be given a certain amount of time to complete that uh, those sets and repetitions. Uh, the coach is going to provide some guidance as far as the loading on the barbell and what they're looking for. Uh, the, the whole group will work through those sets and reps pretty much together. Um, doesn't mean that everyone's lifting at the same time, uh, but the coach is going to be going around during that time, providing coaching and cues and answering some questions and helping you to get better and move towards your goals. The... Um, when you think about the time that's provided, usually there's a couple of warm-up sets that you're going to do. Those are uh, the movement, but at a lighter load than your working set. You'll complete those just to warm up to the load that you're going to be moving, and then you'll complete your working sets. So, for example, if we had three sets of two, rep two snatches that we're going to do, uh, that's really just three working sets. And each working set, we're going to do two snatches. Getting, that being said, we probably are going to uh, not just jump to those heavy loads and doing three sets of two. You're going to do a couple of warm-up sets. The coach is going to help guide you through that. So that's basically how uh, the workouts and the whole session will be structured. The coach is going to lead everyone through those uh, those work uh, movements and workouts that we have planned and provide lots of great coaching to help us all get better with our lifts. Uh, and kind of just touching again on beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You know, when we're just starting out with something, uh, maybe we've been doing CrossFit for a little while and uh, we want to get a little better at our um, our barbell and our weightlifting, the Barbell Club can be a great opportunity to do that. Obviously, the loads are lighter. I might not yet have a good sense on the uh, max load or how much I can really uh, lift, but your emphasis is going to be placed on quality of movements, uh, quality of your movement, and being able to develop the mechanics uh, first and foremost, then consistency with those. And once you have those two things in place, then you can move on to increasing the load. Don't worry so much about the percentages on the barbell at this time. Those That'll come down the road, but focus on the mechanics, focus on the consistency, and once you build that confidence, then we can start uh, increasing the percentages and start working toward your, uh, your weights. Okay, now intermediate and uh, you know where we are familiar with the lifts and we practice them, what we're looking for is being able to uh, find those opportunities to improve those movements, right? Um, they, there may be uh, small changes that we may need to be making, uh, but we know from practice, practice, practice that that's how we are going to get better and attention to detail. So we build on those fundamentals and then we practice those fundamentals and build on them looking for improvements. Now, we know and weightlifters know that those improvements rarely come at the very heaviest loads. So all time one rep max is an opportunity to get your one rep max. It's not an opportunity to refine and build on our movement. So that's why uh, we're going to give you uh, the programming and the workouts have the opportunities for us to build uh, on the the, uh, the ranges of percentages that are more moderate, like 60 to 75%. That's a great range for us to be able to refine our movement, to get better, and to build power, speed, and explosiveness. So you'll see the opportunities to do that in there. Now you'll also see progressions where the, the the barbell load gets heavier, maybe throughout the month, which allows us the opportunity to test the waters um, and uh, see if we're able to consistently perform the the mechanics of the movement at those uh, incrementally larger loads. And when you are able to consistently do that, that should. Uh, tell you and your coach that you're making progress and maybe now's the time to, or we will soon see, uh, increases in your all-time maxes. 
Um, and this, the, what I just uh, shared with you as far as intermediate, uh, probably is uh, even more applicable to the advanced lifter, right? Maybe some nuances on uh, the movement may be coming in there, but we know and we have learned over time that in order to grow and improve and to continue to progress in the sport of weightlifting is a careful attention to the fundamentals and to the mechanics of the movement. That's how we're going to move our largest loads and uh you know, what I would probably also emphasize is consistency, right? So our heaviest lifts need to look like and feel like our moderate weight lifts and our very lightweight lifts. All of those things together, we have learned as advanced weightlifters that in order to uh, improve, we need to get that consistency across all of those, right? Otherwise, what happens on the day that we're competing or testing out those, if we haven't uh, set that solid foundation and built upon it that our lift will fall apart and we'll miss that lift when the weight gets heavier. And so that would be our limiting factor there. So something for everybody every week and our coaches are great at being able to coach across all of those levels. What else? Well, I want to jump into a little bit of detail with you now on what to expect because we are tweaking our workouts a little bit and I want to kind of give you a preview of what you can expect to see in the weeks uh, uh, coming up in the Barbell Club class. So let's switch on over to that now. All right, here we go. So let's see. Okay, um, this, this is uh, one of, oh, I don't know, let's say Saturday's workout we have this Saturday. Uh, we're gonna start off with a snatch, three sets of two, working between 70 and 75% of our one rep max snatch. After that, we'll move on to a clean, five sets of one, working between 75 and 80% of your one rep clean. Uh, then we've got an accessory, clean pull, uh, where we're gonna work on three sets of five, working between 85 and 90% of your one rep max clean, a little heavier, which makes sense for uh, the accessory. In this case, then we've got a push jerk uh, on Saturday that we're going to be doing four sets of one. Here we're upwards of 85 to 90%. So something that you are confident that you can complete, but on the upper end of that, uh, that spectrum of weight percentages. And then uh, split, split jerk, four sets of one, uh, working between 85 and 90% of your one rep max clean and jerk. We're going to round out the day by hitting uh, six sets of one singles uh, at 80%. So we're building some strength here and we're going to complete probably the same weight across on that, maybe small tweaks. Um, and uh, that's going to kind of wrap it up for the week. So what, what we're going to see uh, typically is a focus on the snatch and the clean and jerk and then some accessory as, along with uh, the... Uh, some of the overhead movements like the uh, push jerk or split jerk, kind of what we typically have been seeing. Now, you might notice uh, that a lot of these uh, percentages are straight across. So we're doing three sets of two at 70 to 75%, where in the past we may have specified all of the weights you're going to do with every rep, right? 65%, 67.5%, 70%, 72.5%, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, here, we're, we're, we think it's best for us to focus on the mechanics of the movement, how it feels, uh, and we're giving you a range to work in. Uh, that being said, uh, there is a progression on the percentages over the the planning cycle, right? So when we look at our uh, our weightlifting, in order to uh, make sure that we set the path so that we can continue to see progress, we have a four week training cycle built in month over month over month, and so each uh, each month will have feature a slight tweaks on the accessories that we'll be focusing on, as well as the um, the other movements, the reps and sets will change throughout the from month to month. 
But within a month, uh, I see that there's going to be uh, a focus on a certain number of movements where we're going to see increases in percentages throughout the month. The reason we do this is that we, um, we want to give us enough time to work on specific movements and see those gains kind of really play out week over week, right? And so that if we were always changing the movements and always adding in different accessories and changing, 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 every time you come in, it would be fun because you have all these different movements, but it'd be really hard to see the actual progress. So you may see repeat movements, very uh, common uh, themes going across uh, throughout the month, yet you'll see changes in the percentages, well thought out changes changes in the over volume, overall volume of sets and reps that you'll see. And if you stick with the program, uh, what you're going to see is that your weights and your lifts will consistently go up because with weightlifting, the most important thing is building on those foundations and getting that consistency of mechanics of movement before we add load and intensity. It's built right into the programming that we're providing for you in the Barbell Club class. Um, also, which is really cool, uh, built in is a monthly test uh, where we will test our one rep max clean and jerk and our one rep max snatch. So you're going to have regular updates on your percentages. So so by consistently attending, you're going to actually see progress month to month to month and being able to chart that out. And uh, that's great. So we're looking forward to, to those changes, but I wanted to give you an update on uh, what was coming up so that uh, we all could be prepared because sometimes when things change, it's helpful to have a little bit of insight and uh, transparency as to you know, what's coming up and, and get you involved in that as well. Um, let's see, I think I had one more thing I wanted to add to it. Uh, let me see if there was. Oh yeah, and one more thing that I wanted to add was that uh, a we're also including some additional Barbell Club workouts, uh, which you'll find in SugarWatt on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you're looking at adding a little extra weightlifting that you can do in open gym, check out, your sugar wide app, change it to the barbell club class. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the week, you're going to see some additional work letting you guys get ahead of the game. Take care. Well, that's a wrap folks. Thank you so much for checking in on this 2022 update on the barbell club class. Looking forward to seeing everyone there in the gym on Saturdays. Take care and have a good day. <laughs>